So the first question is uh, how, port how important do you think the 5G technology is going forward? Um, the 5G technology is something that is uh, clearly ahead of us. Uh, all the mobile operators are pushing for it. All the mobile uh, network, um, let's say, equipment manufacturers are pushing for it, as well as countries, city entities. So this is um, an opportunity that we can't at least, uh, let's say, uh, miss. We, we need to go for it. We need to look for what it can bring to us. Most definitely it will bring, bring us the infrastructure build-up that will happen already by 2020 onwards. Okay, so how do we see Excel participating in this trend and uh, what do you see as a potential for Excel? Um, for Excel, um, we've initiated um, a consortium project together with Nokia for now, for developing the lighting pole, which is um, the future smart cities uh, base station for, for 5G networks. And uh, this is the first thing we've been doing. And, and there we've been working clearly together with uh, Covestro on, on that side, um, especially on the resin. And, and then on the other hand, we also have a material development going on on, on 5G laminates, which are applicable for, for these high frequencies. When ha in high frequencies, what happens is that we, we face an issue where a signal is very short and it will attenuate even in empty space. So now the materials in front of antennas and signals will come even more important. And that's why we are now putting uh, efforts on, on bringing this up. So you mentioned already a little bit about uh, material requirements. Um, if you can put it in a, in a nutshell, what do you think are the pain points at the moment for the material perspective specifically? Yeah, well, uh, well specifically, uh, today we are making uh, um, antenna radoms for, for 4G LTE networks, where we are manufacturing very traditional uh, laminate structures with glass fiber and polyester resins. Now, um, there we can vary, the, obviously, the different uh, layers in the laminate, different resin systems, we can apply different additives to get more UV resistance, etc. But now as we go to high frequencies, uh, we, will, we will have the problem of attenuation. In, in, in these lower frequencies, the, the thing is that they don't attenuate in empty space. We can have base stations, let's say, kilometers away from here, and still we have the network working now when it's a long signal. But when we go to 5, 5G era, it's a shorter signal and what will then happen is that we need to have a dense network and a lot of antennas. So, and it will travel much shorter way the wave. So now uh, the, the challenge will be that we make, uh, let's say, air-like materials. So if you ask from a company like Nokia what you would like to have in front of your signal, they would say air preferably. Well, however, that's not possible. So we need to make something next to air, still having mechanical structure and still being able to resist different environmental effects. Cool. So we'll be seeing a lot of this uh, going forward. Uh, what is the, the benefit of using Desmocomp for Excel and what benefits do you see specifically using Desmocomp? Yeah, well, Desmocomp is, is one of those resins that um, I see clearly having a lot of potential. And especially in the smart city lighting pole, the thing is that we would not like to go for painting, as painting can provide certain issues, uh, for example, the signal penetration, if, if the painting is not doing properly or if they're using additives that are, that are metal-based. So now with polyurethane, um, uh, Desmocom polyurethane specifically from Covestro will provide us that we can skip actually the painting stuff. And, and we will have an element that will be there for 20 years or onwards, and Desmocomp is a solution for this. At the same time, as we're looking into element that is um, outside there and also um, under certain, let's say, criminal base of uh, things, someone might kick it, we, we can cross on it. Polyurethane provides the stiffness and, and the rigidity of that material that we need in this element anyhow.